Hey, what's going on guys? So, I'm going to do UV tests of these glasses. We have real prescription glasses here. We have, um, these are eBay, like $2 glasses with actual glass lenses. No, sorry, these are the plastic lens ones for $1. These are $2 ones from eBay with the glass. These are another $1 pair from eBay with the plastic. These are your movie theater 3D glasses. These are paper 3D glasses. These are the old school 3D glasses. These are um, the fake Ray-Ban Wayfarers. These are real Ray-Ban Wayfarers. These are the fake Ray-Ban Aviators. The real Ray-Ban Aviators. Some um, just like $10 glasses from Venice Beach. And these are like the fake uh, um, retro super future or whatever it's called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two UV readings of each thing. And if it's um, there's a discrepancy, we'll, we'll do a tiebreaker with one more reading. So hopefully you can see this. If you can't see this, I'll be reading the, uh, the UV readings out for you guys. So zero means 100% uh, filtration, which is the best. Alright, so let's take an initial reading of the outside UV for control. And it's giving me a UV reading of 3. Let's do it again for consistency. And we're getting three again. So we're gonna say the outside is three. So now we're gonna try the prescription lenses. And all I'm gonna do is block this um, this UV sensor right here. So I'll do it like that. So the prescription reading number one is one. Reading number two is one. So these do not have 100% filtration. Let's try the one dollar um, eBay glasses. Reading number one is a two, so these are slightly worse. Reading number two for these is okay. Reading number two is also two, so that's consistent. Here are the same glasses with. Um, glass instead of plastic lenses. So reading number one is two. So these are just as powerful. Reading number two is two. Same consistency. So these are some different one dollar glasses from eBay. Reading number one is a two, and second trial, we're at two again, so that's consistent. Some 3D glasses, let's check these out. Reading number one. These are a zero, so these are 100% UV filtration. Let's try it again for the second reading. And there's a one, so there's a discrepancy, so we're going to go for a tiebreaker. This is the third trial. We're at one, so let's just do one more just in case. we're at one. So we're going to stick with these are one. 
so that's not 100% uh, UV filtration. Let's try the paper 3D glasses. These are one on the first trial. One on the second trial. Okay. Let's try the blue part of the lens. First trial is zero. So that's 100% filtration. Second trial is zero, so we're sticking with that. It's 100% UV filtration on the blue side. On the red side, let's see what we can get. There's a one for the red, trial one. And we're getting one for trial two, so that's consistent. Now we're going to try the fake Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Trial one. These are giving off a reading for one. Trial number two. Also giving off a reading for one. All right, so now we're going for the real wayfarers. Trial one. Zero, so that's 100% UV filtration. Let's try it again. Trial number two. Zero again. It's 100% UV filtration. Let's try the fake aviators. Trial one. It's not a valid trial. Let's try that again. I'm moving it too much. Trial one. Just giving off a zero, so that's 100% filtration. Let's try trial two. Zero again. So the fake aviator are giving 100% UV filtration, which is really good. Let's try the real aviators. Trial number one. giving a zero. Trial number two. Zero. So another 100% UV filtration. Let's try the mirrored lenses for the uh, Venice Beach aviators. Trial one. Is zero. So that's 100% filtration. Try trial two. Zero. So 100% filtration for these. And finally, the retro super feature are fake. Not sure if these are called that, but these are the uh, super flat tops. So that's definitely what they're called. So these are also off eBay for like 12 bucks. Trial one. It's giving us zero. Trial number two.
is giving us zero. Let's try to try one more. Another zero. So that's giving off a hundred percent UV uh, protection. Now let's just take one last reading of the the atmosphere or the environment is giving a rating of two. Let's try one more. And two again. So there you go. I'll summarize the results and try to make it easier to read, but there you go.